the way that I like to think about dashboards is this slide right here. And I think if you guys can take away this as a really important concept from this session, then you'll all be thinking about the dashboard tool in the right way. So when we are talking about a Clockworks dashboard, I think what's really unique is that we start with this flow of what data sets do we have available in Clockworks, right? And we actually break them down kind of in this way. So we know information about your buildings and equipment. Anyone who's updated an equipment variable knows that we track your horsepowers, we track capacities of equipment. We know where your building is in the world, what climate zone it's in, right? So we actually have a, a pretty rich data set about the profile of your building and the equipment that is contained within it. Everyone loves diagnostics. We have a daily diagnostic that we create on every piece of equipment. It tells us priorities. It tells us the dollars that were wasted on that performance issue. We see people creating and completing tasks, probably to Nick's point on impacts, the most important data set that we have in Clockworks, right? So who's working on what? What's the current status of a task? All of that data is available in the dashboard tool. We know how many users are participating in those tasks. We can kind of view information by user. Is Bob working on the most tasks in this region, right? And the latest enhancement was raw data, right? We can now take temperatures, pressures, air flows directly from the BMS. They're stamped very cleanly every five minutes. We can now put those onto a dashboard and create very, very unique views of your building performance. So thinking about these data sets is kind of step one. If you want to visualize something about your buildings, think about it in terms of well, which data set is going to tell me that story, right? What am I trying to focus on? Step two is to think about pre-configured widgets. So it seems pretty basic, but we're trying to avoid that extra step of you guys formatting an X axis on a column chart, right? So when you drag on a donut chart, a pie chart, a column chart, um, you know, it's, it's your preference, right? What visuals you like? How is this going to represent my data the best? What you end up with is a dashboard, right? That seems like a pretty obvious definition. Hopefully it's an obvious definition. I think the power with what we've created here is really the consistency of this left side. If you want to see a temperature point across thousands of zones, you know in Clockworks you're gonna have a very uniform way of finding that data, right? So, you know, if you do have data scientists in your team, great. If you don't, we kind of take care of that for you. We try to make it as simple as possible to pull in a widget that tells you the story, 